the public play a really strong role and a beneficial role in managing your online reputation. Did you know when somebody advocates and shares your content online, that can exponentially increase positive sentiment and positive reputation by over 500%. LinkedIn even say that when somebody talks about your brand's organization on their platform, brand reputation increases by over 660%. The other role that digital communications plays in online reputation is we now have the ability to see faces, hear voices, and really get closer to those decision makers in political life, in public policy, and heading up organizations. And even in the conversation that I have shortly with Neve Boyle from the Reputations Agency, she also agrees with me that the role of senior leadership is absolutely critical in the digital age. So it's no longer only the gift of the senior leader, perhaps in the CEO role. But we now have, or you now rather, have the ability to shine a light on other key staff within your organization. More recently, I've seen a lot of public sector organizations, and they've even been on this show, launch new podcasts introduce new voices and subject matter experts into the public domain. Another thing that we can really leverage in the digital age around reputation management is the whole concept of social listening. Social listening gives you the ability to understand intrinsically what people are saying about you, your organization, topics and decisions that affect them. And you can take these insights into your organization to feed in and to inspire your communications plan, but perhaps even shifts in policy making. The world has changed. The pendulum of power no longer is in the hands of government or public sector. You have to realize that that pendulum is swinging over and back, and very much so that power is in the hands of the public, and they will speak when they're not happy. 